Houston, we have a problem. Problems began the night before when we anchored in the Newfound Harbor anchorage about 20 nautical miles east of Key West. Overnight, the winds had gusted to 30 knots, and the next morning our anchor had dragged about 200 feet. When we pulled it up, it got tangled in a crap pot line. With the wind blowing the catamaran closer and closer to a danger marker, I had no choice but to cut the line with a diving knife before we ran aground. I'm in the middle of editing this footage and I realized that we were such in the heat of the moment that we didn't really do a good job explaining what was going on. With the sailboat, we didn't think we would have as much of a problem because when you're not using the engine, crab pots aren't on a problem, right? They can't get wrapped in the propeller if the propeller is not running. Because we were such terrible sailors, we ended up having to use our engines. Where are you going? Uh, more frequently than we thought. At the anchorage that we were at, the anchorage would provide good protection from the north and the northwest, but that night the winds were actually coming out of the east, so we really had no good shelter from the winds at our anchorage. When we woke up the next morning, we realized we were right next to a danger shoal, not a good place to be, and like in the middle of just like Crab Pot City. And I was driving, John was trying to get the anchor up. I ran aground during that time. I don't think any of that is on video actually. I think our GoPro stopped working. So then I freaked out. And then meanwhile behind me was like danger shoal, danger shoal. So I didn't really know what to do. Um, but we thought we actually managed to get out of there without any mishaps, only to find out when we tried to go snorkeling in the middle of the open sea with like five foot waves that one of our engines went out and had carried along a crab pot on our journey. All right, back to the video. Currently, our left engine is not working. We had a rope wrapped around it. We went to go hook up to a mooring ball. It got wrapped around the left prop. Our port engine stalled out, so we weren't really thinking about snorkeling, but now I got no choice. You want to describe what you're doing? All right, so... Uh, you were going to freeze in that water, by the way. Problem is the current's really strong. The winds are 25 knots. Uh, don't want to get blown away, so we're taking precautions. Uh, if I do get blown away, I have my uh, signal noodle. I have a VHF radio. Um, and I have all my snorkel gear. I really hope you don't go blown away, because I'm not really sure I can maneuver to you with one engine. All right. So here I am jumping into the open Atlantic Ocean. We're about five miles away from shore. The water is 75 degrees. The waves are four to five feet. It's pretty scary out there. We have a variety of safety gear that we keep on board the boat. We had some floating reflective rope that I wrap around my dive belt so that if a wave hit me really hard and I let go of the boat suddenly, that I would still physically be attached to the boat. And I had two of those ropes for redundancy. If you like our videos, please let us know. We are more than open to suggestions, comments. Also, I'm about to go to bed, so I'm like in my pajamas wearing a Taylor Swift t-shirt. So uh, this is what I look like when we're home. <laughs> If any of you have other thoughts on what I should have brought with me into the water, let us know in the comments below. Freezing wet. Gotta put a wetsuit on. Better? So now John is in full scuba gear. Um, minus an oxygen tank, because we don't have that. I'm trying to cut it and de-wrap it around. What's going on? The waves are f***ing rough. Yeah, they really are. Can you cut the line? It's still wrapped around. Ugh. Too dangerous. Can't do it. We can't do it here. Way too dangerous. Oh, miserable. Cold. Seasick. I'm tired, and I have to jump back in the water to cut this crab hot light off. Yeah, that's how I feel.
feeling? I'm cold. I can't even move my fingers. And this is day two of our vacation. Now, we learned a lot of things from this. This was really the first time that we had a experience like this on the water. First, we were really grateful that I managed to bring my dive knife with me. If you don't have a dive knife, at least, at the very least, bring a multi-tool because that thing saved us. A kitchen knife definitely would not have been able to help us out in this situation. Second, I was really thankful that we brought all of our safety gear with us. If I didn't have any one of those pieces of equipment with me, there would have been no way that I would have taken the risk to jump into the water to try and untangle and cut that line from the engine. So in our next video, we're going to show you a scuba diving trip that we also took in Key West at the Vandenberg dive site, which is this wreck that is seven miles off of the coast of Key West. Needless to say, this was another adventure that was filled with plenty of excitement, both good and bad. So join us next week and we'll see you later. Action. Hi. Oh, I have no idea what to say because I haven't seen the video and I have no thoughts on it. Um, what is the video about? Yeah, no, that was really bad. Um,